the overall goal of this procedure is to transplant extreme anterior domain, or EAD, facial tissue between Xenopus levis embryos. This is accomplished by first removing the EAD tissue from donor and recipient embryos of different genetic backgrounds. Next, the EAD explants from the donor embryos are inserted into the faces of the recipient embryos. In the final step, the transplanted embryos are maintained for 60 to 70 hours post-fertilization for observation. Ultimately, bright field and fluorescence microscopy can be used to observe changes in the craniofacial development of the transplanted animals. This method can help answer key questions in the craniofacial development field to improve our understanding of craniofacial deformities, such as, do signals required for orofacial development rise from the extreme anterior domain? Before the operation, load capillary tubing into a needle puller and then Pull four to six needles, breaking each needle such that the two to three millimeter flexible hair-like portion of the glass tip is fully removed. The tip must be relatively rigid, but narrow enough to be used as a cutting tool. Then, light a Bunsen burner and place the tip of a glass pasture pipette into the blue part of the flame. Rotate the pipette such that the tip melts and the hole completely seals forming a closed, rounded end. To make glass bridges,